Hey, 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 you guys, it's Bourgeois Latte, live in full effect in my little kitchen here. Next week, probably be in my cafe bistro. <laughs> but thank you, you guys, for tuning in. I want to show you guys how to use a French press. Now, a bunch of my Facebook friends have been asking me for the longest to show them how to use a French press. So, there's another word for this French press. It's called cafeteria. Well, damn, I said that pretty good. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Whatever. It sounds good, but yes, that's how you say it in French. So, a lot of people ask, what is the big deal about this French press and why? Well, I'm not going to stand here and give you a whole history about coffee. Well, this French press, of course. I'm not going to stand here and give you a, a lesson unless you want me to. But that will be on another occasion. But my opinion of what's so great about this French press is that it's like your own little miniature coffee maker. All you have to do is push down the plunger and you have this amazing taste of coffee i'm telling you it's so different from the traditional drip coffee coffee maker don't get me wrong i enjoy it but i'm telling you this french press has totally changed my life what for one i enjoy i truly enjoy having whole bean coffee whole beans coffee which I have, um, this is from Colombia. I ran out of my, um, my coffee beans from Nicaragua. Love that one. But I enjoy this one as well. But um, and it's, it's Antioquia Finca Orizaba. I hope I said it correctly. <laughs> but it's um, Colombian whole bean coffee. Um, it has a strong, robust taste to it. And I like that. Um, next time I will discuss about different coffee beans okay and i'll also let you guys know about my coffee club that i've joined and it's great because they send you coffee every month and depending on how many you know subscribers i can get in because i want everybody to view this baby so that i can like raffle off or do a giveaway of some really great coffee but first and foremost i have to show you how to use this French press, okay? Oh, there's another thing I want to tell you guys about. You guys need to check this out. La Vaza. That's another discussion. So back to my French press. Okay, you guys, I've already put coffee beans inside my little grinder, okay? And this is what it looks like. Now, the most important thing that you need to know, guys, I gotta get me a laptop. I'm gonna get me a laptop soon. But first, you gotta work with what you got, right? But first, make sure you have a really good grinder, okay? Now here, I'm gonna show you. Move it a little closer. When you use a French press, okay, you must, must, must make sure that it is on course, okay? You don't want it fine. If you have it too fine, it will clog the filters so here with this French press it has filters you see it and that's what separates the um the grounds from from the um, actual beans when it's crushed so you want to make sure that it doesn't get clogged if you make it fine it's gonna clog and it's gonna taste like crap and you don't want that so always make sure that it is that it is on course okay now I'm going to make um, a four cups so this is pretty cool this is four cups really two but I'm gonna make four guys like my little latte cup so cute my sister Dina Marie she's mommy's beauty cafe you guys have to check her out she does these fantastic coffee nails. well not just coffee nails but she's gonna give me some coffee nails so I can't wait to get my press on nails cute so yes she sent this to me um, for Christmas and I, I love it but anyway let me rinse it out a little bit but yes my latte ah, my latte cup so anyway make sure as I was saying 
make sure it's on course okay I'm about to actually turn on this grinder right now and there's also different types of grinders that you have to look into and I'll go over that some other time I mean oh my gosh we have plenty of time for me to discuss about a whole bunch of different types of coffee I mean you guys I'm not gonna let you down I'm gonna give you the full 411 so let me grind this it's loud but let me grind it And it is definitely coarse so I removed it okay and this is how it looks okay yes all right one tablespoon per cup so this is a tablespoon okay I'm going to put four because it's gonna be four cups okay and it looks like man it's definitely coarse one two three I'm gonna let you guys get a closer look see and four okay now you need to have water boiled okay but do not do not I like it boiled and I like I like for it to sit for a little while they say 122 degrees but this is my coffee swag way of making coffee you know you can go to coffee, what's the name of it? Coffee.cup.guru. So if you want to like really know how to make different types of coffee, because some people are not really good with the measurements. And this app is amazing. It will definitely show you and walk you through it on how to make French press, Chemex, AeroPress. There's so many different types of coffee. Now, I don't have all those fancy machines, but I do have a couple of other um, coffee machines that I'll you know I'll tell you guys about so I've already boiled my water okay and it's they say 122 degrees um, we don't have time for that <laughs> I do not have time for that so I'm just gonna pour just a little water a little hot water okay just a little and they say you're supposed to stir it for 10 seconds so so stirring it you want to see how it looks so far it looks good okay all right you no know, I prefer hot water not boiling water remember that okay now you pour the rest of the water and they say to make sure that it's to leave 25 millimeters of space let me tell you something bourgeois latte don't have time for that okay we do not have time for that so I'm gonna replace the plunger okay and I'm gonna make sure that the spout because there's a spout on here right here's an arrow you want it away and you want to kind of place it on top and you want it to brew for four minutes but because I stirred it for 10 seconds uh, I'm gonna do four minutes if you do it over past four minutes your coffee is going to taste bitter okay oh I'm talking here okay it's 418 okay we shall see So four minutes, you guys. So you have to really be careful with this coffee because if you, if you wait, if you do it for five minutes, it's gonna be awful, and you don't want that. You really don't. And make sure the spout is turned away, okay? Because you don't want any space. You want it to be nice and hot, and you know, invest in a little, you know, Hamilton boiling pot here, okay? It's worth it. Now, I do this every morning before work. I know. I mean, I got to have the right cup of coffee. I'm bougie. I like, I like my coffee, you know, international. I want the real deal, holy field type of coffee. I don't mess around, you know. Can't you tell my coffee needs coffee? And I'm telling you, I drink coffee any time of the day. 
So, you know, I'm not a morning person, so I need my coffee. And that's just that. Hello? So, we have two more minutes. Two more minutes. So, you guys can, like, what? Brush your teeth? Get ready. I mean, I even have my timer on sometimes, but I've gotten so good with it that I don't need it. But um, just remember, four minutes. Four minutes to do this. Do not, do not, do not go past your four minutes or it's going to be bitter. But a way to get rid of the bitterness is to sprinkle a little salt. I know it sounds crazy, but sprinkle a little salt and you'll just get rid of that bitter. You don't, you don't, you don't need a bitter coffee, you know? <laughs> It's like being with a bitter man, and you don't want that, you know. <laughs> or man, it's like being with a bitter woman. You don't want it bitter. You want it sweet. You want it delicious, you know. Ooh, one more minute, you guys. One more minute. I'm so excited. Ooh, yes. Oh, and if you ever want to add some flavor to your coffee, I love this, but this was a holiday special. This is the Califia um, Almond Milk Eggnog. Love it! So if you want to add a little bit of that in your coffee, go for it. Or, you know, just your regular coffee mate, sugar-free, because there's people who can't, you know, who's on keto, you know, this will be perfect for you. You know, for the paleo people, you know, great creamers there's, and creme, you know. I will talk about that later as well. So, you know. All right, it's that time, you guys. So what you need to do is press down on the plunger. Just like that. And then you turn the spout where the arrow is, and bam. You've got yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Now listen here. If you want your coffee, I sometimes like it really dark and sometimes I don't. But I like mine a little light because I'm kind of drinking it later on during the day. But if you really want the correct measurements, because this is my coffee way, my coffee swag way of making, you know, French press coffee, you just check out coffee.guru. No, coffee.cup.guru. And um, it's a great app. You know, it's a great app. And if you have any questions, Give me a call, you guys. Give me a call. Ask all those comments down below on my YouTube channel. You know, I love talking. I can talk all day long and drink coffee. I mean, you know, especially my friends, if you guys want to come over and have coffee with me, please do. I even like it without the cream and sugar. So, you know, tune in, you guys. Tune in. Invite your friends. Invite your family. Let's have, you know, coffee time. Until next time.